During Veds Awareness Month, I would like to spotlight Angelo Nania Jr., who unfortunately passed away due to an aortic dissection and rupture as a result of complication of Veds. While it would be all too easy to wallow in the sadness that comes with his passing, we choose to remember all the good that came with him being part of our lives. Angelo was born in Brooklyn, New York on April 8, 1970, and he was the firstborn of five children. He has two brothers and two sisters. Aside from some clumsy or so we thought bumps and bruises, his childhood was fairly normal. He went to school and participated in all sports. In lower grades, he was huge into organized basketball and baseball. Growing up on that city block like we did in the late 70s and early 80s, he and his friends were no stranger to playing wiffle ball, stoop ball, and football in the street at all hours, with the exception of car breaks, where everyone would move out of the way and proceed as the car passed. He and his friends also played endless hours of basketball in everyone's backyard. As a teenager, the high school he attended was more academic and performing arts focused and did not include a sports program. He did not like that about the school, so he continued playing on outside teams. Shortly after graduating high school, Angelo went on to become an electrician in IBEW Local Union Number no. 3. Shortly after that, he married and had two beautiful little girls. In his earliest stages of his career, Angelo also got involved in various clubs within his union and found his home with the Local 3 Catholic Council softball team. Angelo often said this time of his life was his legacy era and was his third proudest moment in his life aside from his two daughters' lives. He loved that part of his life, the playing, the camaraderie, and the extended family that he obtained while playing. He truly enjoyed that. About 10 years into his career, Angelo became an in-house electrician at Madison Square Garden in New York City, where he ultimately became a foreman and remained that title for the duration of his career until his death. The swap afforded him some stability in the industry and countless encounters with entertainers that we listened to and the sports players he grew up with and watching the sports that he loved. He worked too many hours but seemed to enjoy most of what he did. Angelo was very respected by his co-workers, the talent, industry professionals, and is still spoken often of in the highest regard even five years after his passing. While he is no longer with us on earth, we know that he is still very much part of our lives, and we continue to honor his legacy with the utmost love and respect.